what's up you guys this is me Juanito find those wrestling vlog and more how are you guys doing well today tonight whatever time you're watching this I am going to talk about CM Punk why am I gonna talk about CM Punk I'll show you why I'm gonna quote the following this is from Wade Keller via PW Porch I am not expecting CM Punk to wrestle in AEW again. I'm not saying it's 100% sure thing, but everything is pointing in the direction of some sort of buyout of his contract. Once again, this is by Wade Keller via PW Torch. Now, if that is true, I would not blame Tony Khan or anyone from AEW at all. It's crazy because I have been a die-hard CM Punk fan ever since I laid my eyes on him the first time he appeared on WWE television. Ever since I saw him, immediately I became a super CM Punk fan. There's no denying that CM Punk had an amazing WWE career. As many of you guys know, he left in 2014 due to disagreements and due to him being sick and other reasons why, no, sorry, other reasons that I will not mention because it's obvious, all you guys know the story. 2014, he left WWE, but he made his triumphant return to pro wrestling last August of 2021 he returned to pro wrestling at All Elite Wrestling AEW it was an amazing emotional moment especially for someone like myself that is a huge punk fan and I know a lot of you punk fans for the same like I'm not gonna lie I shed a few, a few tears because when he left WWE I was sad, I cried. When he came back to pro wrestling, I was happy, I cried. I cried of happiness. I'm like, holy shit, one of my heroes is back. He is back. You know, what was a glorious, beautiful, memorable moment, it ended up being a nightmare. You know, CM Punk returned to pro wrestling had many matches in AEW, had amazing feuds with pro wrestlers like MJF, Hangman Page, John Moxley, you know, it's like, wow, especially when he won the AEW world title against Hangman Page at this year's AEW Double or Nothing. It was like, wow, CM Punk is world champion once again. Happened. He gets injured. Does it vacate the title? He is still our, he was our current AEW world champion. But AEW did a interim AEW world title tournament. No, bullshit. It was not a tournament. I'm so sorry. It was between Moxley and Tanahashi. Moxley won the interim AEW world title. So Moxley was kicking ass until CM Punk you know, recuperated from his injury. There, CM Punk comes back. The moment he comes back, that is when the nightmare commenced. This dude is taking shots at Hangman Page and AEW Television. We get the unification match at Dynamite. Yes, at Dynamite. Instead of doing that and all out, they do it in Dynamite. The match lasts only three minutes. It's basically a squash match. See a Punk hits Moxley on the head. He's like, oh, my leg, my leg. Moxley already destroys Punk. He becomes the AEW World Champion. Two weeks later, we get the rematch. See and Punk recaptures the AEW World title against John Moxley in the main event of All Out in front of his people in Chicago. MJF returns to a huge pop. 
stating that okay, he's coming towards Punk's world title. Awesome. What happens? You guys know the rest. Punk talked so much shit in the AEW All Out press conference. He talked shit about Kenny Omega, Young Bucks, Coca Cabana. Like, he was just ranting. Like, dude, you're literally disrespecting AEW. You're, you disrespect AEW in front of your boss, Tony Khan. You're disrespecting everyone backstage. Now, I get what he was trying to say, but you still disrespected Tony Khan's company, his creation. A company that guys and women like Chris Jericho, Moxley, MJF, Britt Baker, and others helped build little by little. You disrespected it. You ruined MJF's return. It's like, what? That's why I say what became a memorable, beautiful moment in the history of pro wrestling, it turned out to be a nightmare. Like, CM Punk is literally the worst AEW World Champion in history. And he won it twice. It's like, so what was a magnificent moment became a nightmare to be honest if he does not come back to AW I do not blame them at all I will do the same thing but I'm a person that I do believe that everyone deserves a second chance I say if CM Punk wants to make amends with AEW Tony Khan and everyone else you know he should be a man about it and apologize and do the right thing because that is a sad way to end your pro wrestling career because I know damn well CM Punk wanted to end his career in AEW nowhere else but right now it will not surprise me if they just you know like the statement said you know they're gonna do some sort of buyout of his contract now, if CM Punk leaves the AEW, where will he go? I Trust me, I know all you guys know this. WWE will not sign this guy at all. They're not going to. Will companies like NWA and Impact Wrestling sign him? Hey, who knows? Probably they will. Probably they'll take the chance. Or probably indie promotions will, you know, book him. Who knows? Who knows? But if this is the last time we saw CM Punk, in a wrestling ring, well, he main evented a pay-per-view in front of Chicago. He won his ninth world title overall. And yeah, he was gone like the wind. You know, if that was his last match as a pro wrestler, oh well. Oh well. It sucks. It sucks that he became what he always fucking criticized. You know. He literally became what he always hated. You know, and that was a fucking egocentric asshole. It sucks. You know, I don't hate CM Punk. You know, if I meet him right now, I'll mark out. But, you know, what he did, that was that being a professional. That was just him being a dick. But, yeah, what do you guys think? You guys think that CM Punk in reality is not going to return to AEW? Do you guys see him somewhere else? Or do you guys think, like I do, that he's never going to come back and that was basically his unofficial retirement match in the world of pro wrestling? Like, you guys let me know. What do you guys think? He should come back. He should be a man and say sorry. He shouldn't come back. He should go somewhere else. Let me know in the comment section. So yeah, that'll be all. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever time you're watching this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that'll be all. Goodbye. Please take care.